Hi sweeties, I've got a great Chinese style chicken recipe for you made in my air fryer, used my Ninja Foodie Grill. And if you don't have all the ingredients, I've also added in some substitutes that you can use, non-traditional but very delicious. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that notification bell, that thumbs up, and let's get into it. So we've got our ingredients and some substitutions just in case for you. We're gonna start with soy sauce. And you can use low sodium soy sauce for this if you want. Some chopped garlic and some honey. Chinese five spice powder. If you don't have five spice powder, you can use a mixture of cinnamon and ginger with a little fresh ground pepper. And that doesn't give you the exact flavors because Five Spice Powder has Sichuan peppercorns, it does have cinnamon, sometimes it has ginger, sometimes it has fennel seeds, um, cloves, and star anise. So this, it's, it gives you a kind of a similar flavor, but not the exact Five Spice, but it's an okay substitute. And then hoisin sauce. And if you don't have hoisin sauce, you can substitute some barbecue sauce. Again, it's not an exact substitute, but it gives you the same sort of sweet flavor profiles um, that you get with a hoisin sauce. So all of the amounts will be in the description box. Now this is going to be our marinade and it's going to be our basting sauce. So let's start by mixing it all up together. And I'm gonna mix it in this to-go soup container that I had left. We'll pour soy sauce. And you can double this recipe for more. This is good for about three pounds of chicken. Oh gosh, can I open this? Sometimes it's hard to open these jars. I'm gonna use my oven gloves because they give you a good grip. Oh, there we go. They give you a little boost in your grip. So it's another purpose for these silicone oven gloves. And then we're gonna add in a little honey. Our garlic cloves. our five spice powder and remember if you don't have five spice powder you can do a mixture of cinnamon ginger and black pepper it'll get you close it's not exact this is not at all an authentic recipe but that's okay you know use what you got now we'll add some hoisin sauce remember we substitute a little barbecue sauce if you don't have hoisin sauce. Again, not an exact match, but it gives you a similar sort of texture in your marinade. I'm gonna mix that well. And half of this will go on our chicken. This would be good on ribs too. Yeah, sure, yeah. So half is gonna go on our chicken and then half we'll leave in this container and use it as a basting sauce during cooking. If you want a little heat in there, you can add in a little sriracha or hot sauce. We'll start by pouring half of our marinade in the bag and we're gonna save the rest to brush onto our chicken. Add some water. And massage the bag around to move that marinade all around the chicken and squeeze out the excess air from the bag. And refrigerate for a couple of hours or overnight. We're gonna cook this in the Ninja Foodie Grill on air fry mode, so let's get it on and hit air crisp. 
Turn the temperature down to 350 because the sugar, the honey, and that sauce, that marinade is going to darken and it can burn easily. So let's turn it down and preheat. And you'll notice there's a sticker on the Ninja Foodie Grill that tells you how long to cook things, but you gotta kind of play with it to make your own decision. So we're gonna reduce the time and temperature. Our Ninja Foodie Grill is preheated and we can add our chicken. Just drain off the excess marinade and put the chicken in in one layer, leaving a little bit of room around each piece so that the air can circulate around the chicken and get it evenly cooked all around. This would be great with some other chicken pieces. Chicken thighs would be fantastic in this marinade chicken wings as well marinated and grilled and if you can sit it let it sit in that marinade overnight man that seasoning the flavor really penetrates and it's just so good our timer is up let's see what our chicken looks like after 15 minutes in the Ninja Foodie Grill, that's pretty. Now you see the color, that mahogany color our chicken has, that marinade, the, the honey, the hoisin sauce has sugar in it, and the soy sauce is dark and it really gives you a beautiful color. Let's check the temperature of our chicken and see what we have. Wow, it's up to 190. That's already done. I mean, I usually like to get my chicken legs up to around 180. So that's done, but I still want to brush some glaze on here. I actually, I can't find my <laughs> basting brush. So I'm going to spoon some glaze on there and then just broil it for another few minutes to cook the glaze on. So spoon a little bit of that sauce and that's the sauce that we reserved you know remember we poured half the sauce into the marinade and left half in the container and just put it in the refrigerator and that way you can be sure your marinade hasn't gotten you know contaminated like sometimes people say you know you can just marinate your chicken and then boil the sauce to kill any germs and you can do that but I just find this to be much easier you know you can skip the step of boiling some sauce just make a little extra and brush it on or spoon it on for some glaze and in this ninja foodie grill you know look how it cooks so well on both sides like it browns on both sides without you having to turn the only reason i have to turn this chicken is so that we can get the sauce on both sides now let's spoon a little bit more of that glaze on the other side try to spread it around as best i can and no, the spoon is not the best tool for this, but I just, I can't find uh, any of my basting brushes because um, I'm moving, y'all. <laughs> and so much of my stuff is already packed up and in storage. So I just make do with what I got, you know? Sometimes you don't have to have the right tool, sometimes the wrong tool for the job. It, it gets it done. So let's go ahead and close that lid down and we're going to air crisp this. We're going to leave the temperature high at 390, but we're gonna only cook it for another, say three, two or three minutes, just to cook that glaze on and, you know, just sear it on and the results are amazing. Let me show you. Our chicken is done. Let us take a look. Whew. Let's open her up. Beautiful. Now that's what I mean by letting that glaze cook on for just a couple of minutes. I love the result that you get when you brush a glaze on and let it cook on for just, just broil it for just two or three minutes. I think that step is so worth it. Hope you try this recipe and stay tuned for more delicious recipes in the Ninja Foodie Grill. I'll put a link to them right over there and you can subscribe right here. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant for more recipes like this. Hit that notification bell, that thumbs up, and have a delicious day.